that Mikey Garcia is a problem. Why do I say that? Because last night, he just proved to me that he is in the top pound for pound for sure. There is no question, there is no doubt. Hand speed, power, ring cachet, all of the above, like I said. But we gotta talk some boxing right now. But before I get started, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Eric Bradley, AKA The Real Fight Doctor, and there is no other on this level. Now back to the topic at hand. I think one of the things that we thought would happen tonight that Mikey Garcia would see a jab. Mikey Garcia would decipher a jab. Mikey Garcia would overcome what it is that he had to overcome with the length, the height of Robert Easter Jr. And we all knew that some point in the fight that you'd see it, didn't know it would be as early as the third round, but Robert Easter showed me some things. He showed me that he had the fight in him because he buckled down in the eighth round and decided, yo, I gotta fight this guy, I can't just sit here. First of all, let me explain what Mikey Garcia had to do to overcome that length. First, he had to slide slightly to the right and then slightly to the left, using the peekaboo style and punching over and under. As the shoulders come off the line, you let the punch go so you don't have your head straight on the line getting caught with that jab. Even though he ate a lot of jabs, the fact that he had to get his offense off Whenever those jabs were coming, these are the things that it takes. It takes several different tools and it also takes heart to do this. So you can't just walk in the ring because you've been watching it on television and go out there and execute this. So when you see this, this is what you call pugilism. And this is what it takes. A lot of people don't understand the kind of heart it takes to do that. But Mikey Garcia is a true fighter, a true ring warrior. Slipping outside of those shots, coming over the top, peekaboo styling, rolling up under, and keeping your feet placed and throwing punches and still keeping the power while moving forward. Trying to cut the ring off with this guy with this long jab. That takes a lot of ring knowledge. Your ring IQ has to be up to standard. And whenever you see this, trust me, this is no small feat. So as I back it up, I'm gonna tell you what Robert Easton Jr. did wrong first. The first thing he did wrong is he went towards Mikey Garcia's right hand by circling to his left all night. That's what you do when you're pivoting and you're a beginner and you don't realize it. It just feels more comfortable. So what he showed me then is he was nervous. He never really felt comfortable at any point in that fight where he felt like he was in control. So he kept doing these rookie mistakes. Anxious, never changing the speed up on his jab, constantly the same tempo, giving Mikey Garcia the opportunity to time him. And that's one of the reasons he got caught and dropped in the third round. It was all about timing. So whenever you see this, that shows you that just because a guy can box and get behind the shell does not mean he's Floyd Mayweather goes to show you how good Floyd really was. He overcame everything, all the adversity that he faced in that ring. That's why he ended up 50 and 0. It's not as easy as it looks. So he learned the hard way tonight, but he did buckle down and show me something. When he decided to get behind the high guard, earmuffs on and walk forward, even though he felt what it felt like to be hit by Mikey Garcia up close and personal, and um, when it's said and done, that's no small feat. Mikey Garcia is a savage beast. So with that being said, this guy has the true ability to be one of the greatest fighters to ever lace him up. But as I segue out of this segment, and I bring this up, when he decides that he wants to go up to Earl Spence, um, the dexterity of his body is different at that level. So I don't know what that's gonna look like, but if it was my fighter, I'm not allowing him to get in the ring with a guy that's beating up everybody in that division because their body's dexterity can't deal with what he's bringing to the table. So I don't know, man. If I was Robert Garcia, I'd have to kind of like contest that and say, hey, let's step up and fight somebody at the weight class, but not that caliber. There are levels to this game.
the question is, at welterweight, what level is he? That's all I got for right now, guys. But I will ask you to do one thing. Like this page. Be sure to take the time and give us a five-star rating if you're on the Master Boxing page. And get ready to tune in for the next breakdown as we do Sean Porter against Danny Garcia. But as I said before, when it comes down to this fight, Earl Spence versus Mikey Garcia, what do you see as fans? Follow us when that fight takes place. Mikey Garcia go out there and upset the apple car. We'll soon see. Don't forget, like the page, subscribe to the channel, and for more boxing information, simply go out there and visit us at MasterBoxingLLC.com. Be blessed at Godspeed. We out of here. Comment down below. Peace.